what's up everybody, E Rivera 94 for another action figure review and this time we're going to take a look at yet another Star Wars Rogue One SH Figures action figure by Bandai Tamashii Nations and this time we're taking a look at K2SO everyone's favorite new droid from the new movie at least mine, I mean he did you know, what is it about droids that just make us they they make us love them so much. I mean, we had BB-8 from Force Awakens, which was amazing. I, we all loved BB-8, and I think K2SO is an amazing droid. Um, you know, and I think he's going to be loved by a lot of fans, you know, from at least for this movie. Um, very cool. I like what they did with K2SO. Very interesting. There's no spoiler here. The Empire and the Imperials use these droids, and uh, this... This is a reprogrammed droid to, you know, so it's a good guy, you know, but he looks like the enemy. So very cool. And it's interesting how they use that in the movie. Uh, but anyways, here is the front of the packaging. Here's the side. And also here's the back. You can see some poses there. It looks like he comes with a flight stand, which is awesome. Comes with a stand. I haven't seen a stand with uh, with, with Star Wars and, you know, I don't think ever um, in general with figures. They don't really give out their stands anymore like they used to. But anyways, let's take a look at the K2SO. Here we have K2SO out of the package, and I really, really like it. Very cool. It's, you know, nothing very too special, but I think Haswell did a good job with theirs, just as much as Bandai's doing a good job with, with their version of it. I don't have Haswell's version, just like the Death Trooper. I didn't keep it, but I do intend to keep this one. Like I said, I do like the articulation better on SHV or it's in the detail and paint, and I do like it a lot. Now, it is true he comes with a flight stand, or a, a stand, I guess you can just say, because he doesn't fly, but... Awesome. I mean, I haven't seen this in Star Wars ever. I think this is the first time Star Wars figure has gotten a, a stand for SHV War, so that's cool. Uh, we do have the two fists on the figure, so onto the accessories, which are only hands. We have these open hands right here. There's a better look at them. Cool detail on that. You can see they're, you know, they don't articulate. That'd be cool, but you see the detail on them. And then we do have these hands. It looks like you can hold something with these hands. They look like the fists, but they're not the same. These look like you hold something in the hand. Those are fists. You can tell the difference because the fingers are more curled in on the ones that are on the figure. As for K2SO, there's a closer look at him. You can see his uh, face sculpt. Uh, very cool. I like how they did it. They did a good job. Nice detail there. Nice paint. You can see the Imperial logo there. Uh, there is the other side. And I'll wait to see how skinny he is. He doesn't really need to stand to, to stand up. He can stand on his own. You can see he's standing on his own. So it's cool that we got that. We can use that for someone else like Kango Fett or something. Or someone that flies. So, very cool. On to the articulation of the figure, we have the head goes left and right. It goes up about that much and then it goes down about this much. You can see the uh, neck articulation as well. Uh, it's almost like on the chest instead of on top because that's how the droid is. So, that's cool. Very movie accurate. So, I'm happy with that. The arms go forward and back, in and out. Does not, does not have any hindering. So, that's amazing. I like that. The hinge on the uh, shoulder guard, just like pretty much all the SHV hordes and we have this socket thing right here that we do have this piece that does move around but it covers everything so the articulation isn't really seen there but we do have some good articulation for the shoulders so that's awesome goes in and out like that uh, very cool uh, single jointed elbows that bend a little bit more than what 90 degrees would uh, so that's cool the there is a a hinge and a swivel at the wrist diaphragm joint that moves around this much so that's good motion there uh, the waist doesn't swivel but you don't really need that legs go forward a lot so that's awesome back in and out about this much that's cool too i uh, do we do have a little bit of a thigh swivel there a uh, single joint to knees i've been about this much so a little bit more than what we we're used to for single joints and then the ankles go forward and back ankle pivot and toe articulation really cool articulation for a droid there you have it guys, that concludes my review on K2SO, fairly short review, not much to say about him because he doesn't come with much, but what else can you say, it's K2SO, it's a droid, and I think they did a good job on him, I like it, I like it a lot, and it's pretty much all you can ask for for what a droid figure could be like, and for this droid from the movie, I think it's came out great i like the details the paint um and the articulation on the figure even the eyes i don't know if i showed it but the eyes are fantastic too it looks like they use a clear plastic to, to kind of look like what it would look like in the movie there and then there's like paint on the, below the clear plastic so that's cool i like that detail right there 
But overall, the figure is very cool. And if you like the K2SO droids from the movie, then this is a good pickup for you. If you don't really care for the droids, then, you know, it's an easy pass. You don't really need this figure. Um, but if you're a fan of the movie and this character, then go ahead and pick it up. I say this is better than the Hasbro version, which was pretty cool. And the Hasbro version is taller than this one because Hasbro is always a little bit taller in scale than Bandai. SHV arts, but that's pretty much for everything. Uh, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like, and don't forget to have a great day. Bye.